Hi guys, I'm Terrific Tube, and in this video, I'm going to be watch, watching a video on the top 10 most dangerous water slides. And, and as you can see, I've got face cam. So I'll go into YouTube. Dang it. And. So I hope you like it. Also, no inappropriate comments. None whatsoever. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Number 10 Insano, Brazil Beach Park, Brazil. The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989 and when it did it was the tallest water slide in the world. The slide is not for the faint of heart though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. The ride is only 5 seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop. Because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instructed on how to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world, but it remains the fastest, as sliders can reach speeds of a heart-pounding 65 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Number 9. The Aqua Loop at Wet n Wild, Gold Coast, Australia. The Aqua Loop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders down a 10 meter drop and into an inclined pool. During the 7 second slide, riders can reach a speed of 60 km per hour and can experience a G force of 2.5. The slide, which was designed by Whitewater West Aquarina, relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. However, not all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Nonetheless, the aqua loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous aqua loop annually. Number 8. The Black Hole, Wet n Wild, Orlando, Florida. The Black Hole water slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Wet n Wild, Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George Millay. The menacing black tubes of the black hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The black hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff is told to send people down at 20-second intervals. This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. That's pretty fast. Number 7. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, a slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its riders. And although some of the charges were dismissed, the park was found guilty on six accounts, resulting in a payout of $500,000 in damages. 
The sheer volume of injuries attests to the dangerous nature of the steamer slide. Number 6. The Vertigo Slide, Aqualandia Water Park, Spain. The Vertigo Slide in Spain's Aqualandia Water Park is the highest water slide in Europe and the highest capsule slide in the world. The slide, which opened in the summer of 2013, took two and a half months to build and stands proudly at 110 feet. The Vertigo Slide is actually two slides, the red slide being the taller of the two. Sliders stand at the top of the slide on a trap door, which is opened by an operator who presses a button. Once the button is pressed, the trap door is released and sliders are plunged down a three-second slide where they can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The three ride itself slide? and the speed the riders experience is dangerous. However, the trap door presents its own dangers. In July 2014, the trap door failed to fully open and a man was severely injured when he was sent through the partially opened trap door. The man and his injuries were attended to by park staff but the slide was reopened a mere 10 minutes after the incident. Needless to say, this dangerous slide made headlines in the news as a result. Number 5. Cannonball Falls Action Park, New Jersey My goodness. The actual Cannonball Falls water slide itself is not that dangerous, but at the end of the slide, yeah, sliders are sent on a 10-foot drop into the pool below. The fall of Cannonball Falls has resulted in countless injuries and was plagued with problems right from its opening. In fact, Cannonball Falls has the highest number of reported injuries of any water slide in the entire state of New Jersey. Sliders have reported shoulder, neck, and head injuries as a result of the 10-foot drop into the water. The park was actually told to shut down the slide at one point, but despite numerous injuries, the slide remained open and sliders kept on sliding and kept on getting hurt. Cannonball Falls is located at Action Park, New Jersey, which is notorious for its dangerous rides. It has been nicknamed Accident Park and Class Action Park due to the obscene number of reported injuries. Number 4. The Scorpion's Tale, Noah's Ark Water Park, Wisconsin Dells. Noah's Ark's water park is a 70-acre water park with more than 50 attractions throughout the park. In fact, Noah's Ark is the largest water park in the United States. It is also home to one of the most dangerous slides in the world. The Scorpion's Tail is a menacing water slide where sliders are sent on a harrowing ride, including a 55-foot drop, a 70-degree angle plunge, and a 60-degree angle loop. When the slide first opened in 2010, it was the only water slide in the world to have full loop-to-loop -loop and was the first upside-down looping body slide. Although it is not the fastest slide around, sliders do reach a speed of 30 miles per hour while on the 400-foot long slide. They also wait in a coffin-like chamber at the start of the slide for the floor to fall out from under them. And when they do get to the loop, they are 27 feet in the air. The Scorpion's Tail cost $1 million US to build. And despite its dangers, it, it remains a crowd Sorry. favorite amongst water slide enthusiasts. Number 3. The Leap of Faith, Atlantis Water Park, Bahamas. The Leap of Faith is a beautifully constructed water slide that sits on a lovely Mayan themed temple. The Leap of Faith, though, despite its Ooh, beautiful setting, cool. has been called the scariest water slide in the world. The Leap of Faith, which opened in 1998, consists of a near-vertical 60-foot drop. And as if the drop weren't dangerous enough, once the drop is complete, riders are sent through a lagoon of sharks. Sliders, somewhat safe inside a clear acrylic tunnel, are sent whizzing through the- Well, believe it or not, hot sharks don't want to eat you. Who they just, it's like- Okay, so let me explain. So the only reason that a shark would eat you, well, probably the only reason I think this is right. I think this is right. I'm pretty sure it's right. Like, like is that like is it, if it's like if it thought that you were a prey item, like a fish, and that would happen if you splashed around a lot when you were trying to swim really fast. So the best thing to do when if you see a shark is. Relax and be cool. The lagoon, 
where sharks approach the two. Some sharks are literally only inches away. The sharks, which are hammerhead and Caribbean reef sharks, swim freely in the lagoon as sliders swiftly slide past, praying that nothing goes wrong with acrylic tubing. Number 2. The Verrucht, Schlitterbahn Water Park, Kansas City. The Verrucht, which is German for crazy or insane, was destined for fame when it opened on July 10, 2014. It was the tallest water slide in the world at the time. The Verrucht, at 168 feet, cost a staggering $3.6 million to build. And although it did achieve fame as the tallest water slide in the world, it also achieved number one, the Cannonball Loop, Action Park, New Jersey. A park that is nicknamed Accident Park is sure to have more than one dangerous water slide. And although Cannonball Falls and its 10-foot drop is one of the most dangerous water slides on this list, Action Park is also home to the most dangerous water slide ever built. One look at the insane Cannonball Loop and you can see why this water slide could pose several safety issues. Cannonball Loop, which was an enclosed water slide with a complete vertical loop at the end, has a set of disturbing stories surrounding it. Before the slide was officially opened, the owner of the park reportedly offered to pay employees $100 to try out the slide. The employees suffered nosebleeds and numerous injuries while sliding. Furthermore, when the park owner sent a dummy down the slide, the dummy apparently came out the other side without its head. However, despite these massive red flags, the slide was still opened. Shortly after its opening, though, a woman got stuck at the top of the loop, forcing the park to install an escape hatch should it happen again. Needless to say, the cannonball loop didn't last long. It was shut down by the advisory board on Carnival Amusement Park ride safety after only one month due to safety issues. Clearly one of the most dangerous water slides of all time, the Cannonball Loop has slid its way into the top spot on our list of top 10 dangerous water slides. Check out my previous video on the top 10 largest avalanche. All right, so I'm sorry, sorry ladies and gentlemen, but that is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe. Hype and hit that notification bell. Also, so you can stay up to date with what videos are posted. And... And remember to... Goodbye!